time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? By Remington Rand, makers of the revolutionary new Remington Rolectric. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now I have an opportunity to do something that I have never done before on this program. I'm going to introduce a young lady who, for seven and a half years, has made an enormous contribution to the success of this program, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, Arlene. And now I'd like to introduce and at the same time wish many happy returns to our birthday boy. And whatever the birthday is, he doesn't look at Bennett Surf. I have been accorded the privilege of introducing our guest panelist tonight. He's a Hollywood star, a novelist, an adventurer, He's made more girlish hearts flutter even than our own panel moderator, John Daly. I give you Mr. Errol Flynn. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to present you to uh, a gentleman who needs no introduction, so I want to introduce him, John Daly. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. It's going to be fun tonight with Errol Flynn on the panel, finding out whether or not we <laughs> can give us. them a... <laughs> yes, I know. Nice for the two girls particularly. Yeah, Bennett true, yes. looks a little lonesome over there. But perhaps we can make it an interesting evening for all four of them. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show. We meet our first challenger in just one minute. Let's meet our first contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? Mirella? Rocco, is that right? Is it Miss or Mrs.? It's Miss. Miss Rocco. Yes. All right, fine. Panel, I will tell you right off the bat that just to make things more interesting, we're not going to ask Miss Rocco where she's from, but Miss Rocco, the panel. Now, will you come over here with me, please? Are you familiar with the way we keep score? Uh, no, not really. All righty, then every time you can give the panel a valid no answer, we'll flip the card. Ten flips and you have won the game. <laughs> so uh, let's now tell everybody in and out of the theater, except my friends on the panel, exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, one bit of help. Miss Rocco is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with... Then it's sir. <clears throat> Miss Rocco, am I correct in assuming that you will, do not come from the United States? Yes. Do you come from uh, a country in Europe? No. One down and nine to go. Miss Francis. Uh, Miss Rocco, whatever you do, do people watch you when you do it? Yes. I should think so. <laughs> uh, does it entertain them, what you do? Yes. Does it excite them? Yes. Do you work it all out of doors? Yes. Do you ever work with animals? Yes. Uh, have you ever handled a cape? No. That's two down, eight to go, Mr. Flynn. I was on the bull, you know that, of course. Yes, I know. <laughs> Too bad it turned you out to be a lot off. You take All right, I, well, I will try. I'm uh, rather bewildered about this. However... Uh, let me see. Is your uh, occupation uh, the kind of thing that might land you in jail if you got caught? Or... <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I mean, the bullfighter, I thought you... I was following the same thing. Yes, sir, I was... Three down and seven to go, Miss Gilgallis. 
Uh, have you ever done whatever it is you do in some country other than the United States? Yes. Would it be permissible to do it in the United States? In general terms, I would say yes, wouldn't you? Well, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But would you say it was not one of our great national pastimes? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I think it would be safe to say it's not one of our great national pastimes, no. Is it associated with any Latin countries? Is it associated with any Latin country? I don't believe so, not in any specific terms. This is not to deny that as it's possible to perform these functions here in the United States, they might be in one term of reference or another performed in a Latin country, but the specific well, character of the <laughs> performance is not normally think about it. All right, that is? Miss Rocco, in the work that you do, do you either wrestle or soothe or captivate some kind of a wild animal? Wrestle or fight sue. with or soothe. Uh, I have in mind either fighting with an animal or playing a little tune that makes a cobra dance or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> snake pit here. Yeah, that's five down and five to go. Miss well, Francis. Uh, let, let's get the animal. Uh, is, is it four footed? Yes. Uh, is it uh, as large as you are? Oh, yes. Larger? Yes. <laughs> Uh, but not nearly as attractive, Miss Rocco. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, does it, um, is it edible? Some, oh, yes. Small conference. Yeah. Some people eat it all the time, mm -hmm. I feel Sometimes. sure. <laughs> what? Sometimes. Sometimes, uh-huh. Do you, um, uh, do you ever touch this animal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Could you sit on this animal? Yes. Yes, at one time or another, it might be possible. It's Does it have a, a, a hide rather than a furry coat? Is its coat more hide than fur? We'll have to have a small conference, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> more hide than Jekyll. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, when it's old and gray and the fur falls out, I know how that is. Um, <laughs> does it, um, and does it ever, is it ever seen in the circus, this animal? Yes. Uh, is it, or would it be considered a wild animal? Yes. Is it in the lion or tiger family? Sometimes. Oh, once you're in that family, I thought that was for sure, for always. <laughs> uh, sometimes in that family, and sometimes it travels in another family, yeah? Um, do you perform with this animal, then? No. no. That makes it six down and four to go, Mr. Flynn. Would it have, uh, Miss Waco, a pair of tusks or a thing that goes like that? Sometimes. Sometimes. Could we have a conference? You may have 20 seconds for a conference. Uh, could this sometimes mean that she deals with more than one yes, kind of an she animal? she has all different problems. kinds of animals out around. in the jungle, say, probably. There's no speciality. She there. goes on safari. I can see her now. I know it's not as well. I know Errol Flynn. Well, uh, no. <laughs> At least I can be sure it's not a rhinoceros. <laughs> However, <laughs> to proceed. Mr. Flynn, would you like to hazard a guess as to what uh, Miss Rocco's occupation might be? Yes. I'll hazard a guess, and I'm sure I'm wrong. I think that she, she is in charge of large animals like camels, elephants, perhaps even rhinoceri. In charge of them. I think she's in charge of them. That'll make it seven down and three to go, Miss <laughs> Gilgal. Blue. Well, I'm going to go on Bennett's hunt and blame him if I'm wrong. Are you a white hunter? Big game yes. hunter is right. <laughs> guide and a hunter on safari on the African continent. <clears throat> we didn't tell you where Miss Rocco was from because she's from Kenya. That would have given too oh. much away. And so expert, by the way, that um, Miss Rocco is a technical consultant for the cinema. I believe you were recently with Beyond Mamba. Uh, Mombasa. Mombasa. Yes, Columbia yeah. production. <laughs> technical well, consultant. Yes, Bennett. Safari Sagudi. <laughs> Miss 
Miss Rocco, all I can say is I'm sorry that that is the memory of us that you must carry away. <laughs> Thank you very much for being our guest. Will you say goodnight to the panel? panel did rather well with that one i think let's see what you can do with our second challenger would you come in and sign in please marjorie cook is that right <laughs> miss or mrs cook mrs cook and where are you from Munson, Mass. Munson, Massachusetts. Mrs. Cook, the panel. Panel, Mrs. Cook, and now will you join me over here? Do you uh, know how we keep score? Yes, I do. Fine. Then let's let everybody uh, at home and our friends who've joined us in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> panel, Mrs. Cook is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh... Mrs. Cook, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Is there a product involved in what you do? Yes. Would you call it a useful product? Yes. Is it anything that Mr. Flynn could use? <laughs> uh, will you repeat that, please? I didn't hear it. You so your fun it. comes later, Errol, but no, it's something... No, I didn't hear it. I, I know I can use it, yes. perhaps, but... Uh... <laughs> uh, is it something that I could hold in my hand? Yes. Is it something that would be found in uh, millions of American homes? No. No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Munson, can we uh, assume? Uh, Mrs. Cook, I mean, you're from Munson. Yes, uh, I Where am. is Munson? Well, it's between Springfield and Worcester. Up, up along around uh, Deerfield and Greenfield. Hmm? No. Uh, with this, can we assume that this object of, uh, with which you're connected is inanimate? Yes. Is it a manufactured object? Yes. Uh, is it, does it help a person to do something? <laughs> like a... Yes. I would say that would be a reasonable explanation in many conditions that it helped a person to do something else. Would it be, uh, have anything to do, I just know why this popped into my mind, would it have anything to do with telling time or... Telling yeah. time? Yes. That, no, not at all. That looks like that's two down and eight to go. Miss Francis. Uh, is this product uh, is this product consumed? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Flint. Is it used on the body, Mrs. Cook? Yes. Now try to think of what you've used on your body because it's something you could use. <laughs> I can think of too many things. Leave me alone for a moment. <laughs> Many useful devices. Uh, <clears throat> however, Mrs. Cook, uh, would you say that this was uh, 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 something to, uh, uh, like a lotion? Like no. a lotion? No. No lotion. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Is the purpose uh, other than beautification? Yes. Is it other than health? Yes. Does this have any moving parts? Yes. Could it in some circumstances be dangerous? No. Small conference. To be perfectly fair, Dorothy, I think we should give you a no answer, but there is the possibility that it can be used, the object can be used, so that it would have certain dangerous connotations. Since this is so, would you like to proceed? Well, then, in, in ordinary use, for instance, if... Could I use this product? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, if I used it, I wouldn't necessarily get into trouble with it. Mm. No. No, you wouldn't get into trouble with it, no. Not if it's a knife. Well, it has moving parts. Uh, can it be used without attaching it to any electrical outlet? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when you use it, does it do anything? Yes. Does it do anything to a person? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Is this usually to yourself rather than to another person? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. It does something to another person, then, when you're using it. Uh, do you attach it to yourself when you're using it in any way? Sometimes. Would you use it in a uh, hostile manner? When you're in a belligerent mood, would you use this object? <laughs> it is possible that there may have been induced prior to its use what you describe as a belligerent mood and that it might be used while the mood was still present. <laughs> Would you use it in connection with your hands when you're using it? Yes. Would this object penetrate the uh, epidermis of a person? No. No. Six down and four. How do you like I'm that? I'm going to give you one more minute. Miss Francis? Uh, uh, would it have the same effect on somebody as a straight jacket? The same effect on somebody as I a straight I mean, would it, uh, would it restrain someone? Yes. yes. Uh, is it something that is used occasionally by the police department? Yes. yes. Is it ever, uh, instead of on the hand, is it sometimes on the wrist? Yes. Is it handcuffed? Handcuffed, right. Uh, uh, Arlene, uh, one small technicality. What does Mrs. Cook have to do with handcuffs? Uh, well, she tests them to see that the lock works. No. no. That makes All it right. seven down and three to go, Mr. Flynn. Hmm. Uh, would she be in charge of uh, putting handcuffs on ladies? No. That's eight down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. I'm goofing, she, makes she makes them. Right. Five. <laughs> Actually, uh, Mrs. Cook thinks you're uncanny, and I think so too. And. Uh, I guess Smith and Wesson probably figure that uh, handcuffs do, after all, be, get used in a belligerent sense yes, sometimes. Will you so. agree with that? Yes. I hope so, because I don't want your folks to be mad no, at me. Thanks very much for being our guest. Thank Will you say good night to the panel? Thank you. In just a moment, we'll meet tonight's Miss under the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I ask my friends on the panel, I ask my friends on the panel to please blindfold themselves. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. All right, will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we begin with Arlene Francis. Are you a shining light in the entertainment world? I don't know. <laughs> the answer to that is yes. Mr. Flynn? Have you ever had claustrophobia? I'm getting it right now. Uh, uh, are, you, uh, are you in the theatrical profession, sir? Yes, I am. Miss Kilgallen? Are you more stage than movies? More stage than movies? Yes. Mr. Sir? Have you ever appeared in television? A couple of times. Miss Francis? Have you ever appeared in musical comedies? Yeah. Mr. Flynn? Gangster? <laughs> <laughs> No. That one down at nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you more the drawing room comedy type? More the what? Sounds like it. Drawing room comedy type. Well, I don't know. I might be. No, I, I, I think that actually, in the context of the question, we'd better answer it no, or we might confuse them if it's acceptable to you. That makes it two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Have you ever done any uh, work in the nightclubs of America? On occasion. Are you uh, a dancer? Mm. Mr. Flynn? What is that? I didn't that get means that. yes. Ventriloquist? <laughs> no. 
three thousand seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. John, could I have a ruling on dancer? Does that mean that that primarily a dancer? Uh, the question we just asked: Are you a dancer? And the answer to that was yes. Well then, uh, would you say that in musical comedy you have done more dancing than singing? No. That makes it four <laughs> down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Are you primarily known for something other than either dancing or singing? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Bennett, I think that properly we answer that question, yes, but we do it with a small reservation. Miss Francis? Have you been appearing at a nightclub in New York in the last month? Yeah, I guess I am. Mr. Flynn? I'm lost unless he's Mickey Rooney's son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll call that ass, Miss Gilgallan. Um, have you made any records? I well, mean, I, the well, kind that are played on jukeboxes. Well, yes, I've, I've made a few. I've, I've really done that. <laughs> Mr. Sir? What? He did, he did. Have you got anything to do with a band? No, I haven't got nothing to do with a band. That makes it five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Are you a dazzling entertainer, known part of uh, last year as Mr. Wonderful, and continue to do so as long as you perform, Savvy Davis? That's right, Savvy Davis Jr. You just saw Bennett on the plane? Yeah, we oh, showed him hands. In Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Actually, we thought that you had it. You know, when you went to, you known for primarily something else, and there was the issue of the impressions, which um, Sammy Davis Jr. No, was I, best I didn't know what he, would do, what he did in the nightclub. Oh, <laughs> that's great. I'd just, like him to dance off when he makes his exit tonight. <laughs> it's just you dance great. Off oh, I'll be happy to. Uh, <laughs> he just finished uh, at the Copacabana, which is what you were after, yes, I think. Yes, that was yes. it. And Mr. Wonderful, you did that for a full year on Broadway. Fortunately, You yes. tell me you were going to Indianapolis. Well, I went to Indianapolis. We're on a one-night tour now. And tomorrow, as a matter of fact, I, I'm in Cincinnati. I appeared there for one night. Well, when did you meet Bennett in Cincinnati? He was on his... I went there to do a, some pre-engagement publicity, and we met at the airport. Okay. He almost missed his plane, too. That's right. <laughs> That's fine. This is, you know, we very rarely stick Bennett this way, Sam. So this is, this is nice to know that we got him. And well, I had him, him somewhere off in the, in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the thing that I thought gave... Arlene, did you get it because uh, of the, the impression of... No, the, I got it from the voice. You got it from the voice? But you Didn't started, I, Sammy? You started doing Jimmy Stewart. I started doing Jimmy Stewart, and I figured I might be able to throw it off a little bit. Do a little bit of Jimmy Stewart again. Oh, gee, well, it's, it's, really, it's really been a wonderful pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I was positive that Miss Kilgallen was going to get it this time. I, I was really just positive that, that she would get it, because I, I sit in amazement with my grandmother and watch the program, and she always gets all of the performance. You know? yeah. And you didn't get the... Bad night, Sammy, but I, I was getting that you were a singer. Yeah. And that's pretty accurate. And that's about the nicest compliment you can give me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for being our guest. Thank you. And uh, for bringing this wonderful multifaceted talent as you are to What's My Line, because Thank I you. know you probably like to have had Sunday off with a lot Thank of other you. people. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Arlene. Good night, John. Good night, Errol. Have a good, good night, trip. Good night, Arlene. Thank you very much. Nice to have you with us. Thank you, my dear Dorothy. Good Thank night, Thank you, Errol. Johnny. Thank Come you, again. Bennett. Good night, Dennis. Good night, fellow genius, Mr. Daly. <laughs> well, thank you, Bennett. And Errol, it has been wonderful having you with us. You looked as though you enjoyed yourself, and that, I think, is why we enjoyed having you so much. Thanks thank you, John. I got a bit stuck in the beginning. I can do it better next time. Let's start all over, eh? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line? <laughs> Transportation for What's My Line was arranged by American Airlines. Guests are flown to New York aboard America's famous luxury flight, the DC-7 Mercury. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.
in association with the CBS television network. Be sure to see Remington Rand's other great television program, Gunsmoke, Saturday night on this same network.